In this tutorial, we'll solve the do not use empty rule sets in, in Visual Studio Code CSS error. All right, so I have a simple example here. So in my CSS, I'm selecting uh, the body element, but I have no, well, declarations, right? So this entire thing is called a rule set. And if there are no declarations, so a declaration is something like this, right? This is a declaration. If there are no declarations, this rule set is considered empty. And by default in Visual Studio Code, you're going to get a warning, meaning this, this squiggly underline, right? It says, do not use empty rule set. Right? This, is, this is just to help you, to warn you that, you know, maybe you should fix this. Maybe this is something that you did not intend. And so maybe um, you want to change that. Now, in the real world, of course, you could have all sorts of reasons for why this is empty. Maybe, you know, temporarily empty. You know, what I do sometimes is... Um, I give each HTML element a class and I select it as well. Even though I may not style it right now, maybe in the future I want to style it and it's nice to already have it prepared, basically. So I'm going to have a bunch of empty empty rule sets right now, but that's intended. So let's say you want, so let's say you don't want to get a warning anymore. So in Visual Studio Code, you can go to Preferences, to File, Preferences, and then Settings. And you you would be, you know, surprised by the number of things you can actually configure in Visual Studio Code. Even the little details, you can change that. So if you here type css.lint, right, so linting has to do with, you know, the type of syntax, the type of style that um, you allow. So there's a bunch of options here. So if you write another dot and then empty rule sets or just empty and just um you you should see something like this it will say something like css lint so there, there's actually a linting rule here in visual studio code that says do not use empty rule sets and here it says you will get a warning if if you do have an empty rule set we can we can choose to ignore this right so if i if i if i pick ignore here it immediately disappears actually this is the default value i'll leave it for now but maybe you're annoyed by this error so you can actually remove it like that by the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.